The Southern Alberta Institute of Technology is one of Canada's top research colleges with skilled staff and students that strive to meet the needs of local industry. The Radio Frequency Identification Lab is one of the Applied Research and Innovation Services teams at SAIT with a specialization in software and ultra-high frequency RFID technology. The Rad Lab has built strong ties with the industry for both research projects and education surrounding the technology. The Canadian cattle industry employs low-frequency RFID tags managed by the Canadian Cattle Identification Association, but there are limitations to the current technology that can be solved through UHF RFID. The Rad Lab began work in 2011 to research, design, prototype, and test UHF RFID cattle tags through a multi-year project funded by the Alberta Livestock and Meat Agency. The project lasted three years and resulted in numerous tag prototypes, custom RFID readers, and specialized software systems for managing UHF RFID cattle tags. The first designs utilized the Pinot tag from Confidex and were staple tags that bend 180 degrees upon application. Unforeseen complications in design and production resulted in a non-viable tag prototype. Our next prototypes continue to utilize the Pinot inlay, but a popsicle stick design allowed for the inlays to stay straight upon application. These inlays also experienced a high failure rate, mostly due to the inlays being crumpled during the overmolding process. Our next iteration was a similar design to the popsicle stick Pinot tags, except that we used an alien RFID inlay. These inlays also crumpled in the injection molding process, but these tags still read well compared to both of the earlier tag prototypes. The male-female mating design was also improved upon during this iteration. To avoid crumpling the tags, we tried bonding a sheet of fiberglass to the alien RFID inlays in our next iteration. This resulted in large improvements of readability over time, and additional design changes implemented by Alberta Injection Molding provided enhanced retention results. Our final popsicle stick tag design contained two bonded sheets of fiberglass, which held the inlay rigid when over-molded. The rigid inlay greatly improved the long-term RF readability, and final mold updates completed by AIM produced a prototype with satisfactory results. For our next prototype, we reimagined the staple tag with a smaller UHF inlay that stayed flat to the ear. The manufactured prototypes were of high quality, but the custom applicator module caused destruction of tags upon insertion. In addition, we discovered that the UHF inlays were completely detuned by the nylon backing that was used. For our final design, we created a UHF male button prototype that can be mated directly with the industry standard LF cattle tag, replacing the typical male button. As before, the nylon used in this prototype detuned the UHF inlay, and the small inlay antenna size further decreased readability. Once the tags were applied on site, the Rad Lab ran the animals through alleyways with UHF RFID readers and antennas for high-speed read testing. We applied thousands of tags at partnering feedlots and ranches and visited each location at least once to gather retention statistics. Nearly 300 tags were applied at Thompson Livestock, one tagging event took place, and two retention test events. Almost 300 tags were applied at Corban Ray with one retention event. Over 250 tags were applied at CL Ranches with one tagging event and two retention events. At Chinook Feeders, over 800 tags were applied with three tagging events and five retention events. For the majority of the alley tests, we relied on overhead archway systems, but then changed to pole base readers to avoid blocking the alleyway from large equipment and horseback riders. When applying prototypes during tagging events and verifying results for retention events, the Rad Lab would begin by setting up a temporary reader system around the squeeze chute. The setup and teardown were both lengthy and complicated processes. Thus, we decided to create some custom equipment for the Chinook feedlot squeeze chute operators. Our first prototype squeeze system included an embedded UHF reader, a touchscreen, and an automated web interface that informed the squeeze operator when the LF and UHF tags were paired to the animal. The touchscreen was quickly destroyed by animals, so the next prototype was more rugged with lights and buzzers to indicate state change. This system was able to automatically gather LF, CCIA tag information and cattle weight directly from the existing squeeze equipment. 
The Rad Lab also experimented with a UHF reader inside of a water bunk at Chinook Feeders to read the popsicle stick tags applied to animals. This bunk reader used an embedded Linux system with a ThingMagic reader, Wi-Fi, and a solid-state hard drive to record millions of tag reads locally and offered web access to manage tag reads remotely. This prototype operated for eight months in a feedlot pen, continuously reading the UHF RFID tags on the animals. The final piece of custom hardware created by the Rad Lab for the Alma project was a reader prototype system that can be installed on the back of an aluminum cattle liner. Two prototypes were created and installed on the liners, which included sensors, solid-state storage, Wi-Fi, and 3G connectivity for remote administration. Cattle load and unload events were attempted to test the viability of this idea, which yielded promising results. The primary skill set of the Rad Lab staff over the course of this project was software development, which allowed the creation of custom applications that can record, analyze, and present data collected during our research. The first few iterations of our applications were Windows-based, being run from a local PC where the data was being collected. We soon moved to web-based server software for cross-platform compatibility and scalable functionality. Near the end of the project, open source software became the foundation of the Rad Lab's custom readers, embedded sensor platforms, servers, and even workstations. The SATE Rad Lab will continue working with the Canadian cattle industry to bring innovative solutions to the producers that need it most.